Hey there, let's check out what I've been up to. This is Train Tracks. Anyway, this was a station that was, I think it was a limited release, uh, the pedestrian crosswalk. So let's take a look at what I did here. Because what I did is I made a Mills plate, sorry. And I did, I did change a few things. Um, because the track is ballasted, um, this <laughs> was too short. So when the train would go under, it would actually scrape the roof um, on the pedestrian walk, which is awesome. I mean, if you were walking across there, the train came through, you'd be really not doing good. Anyway, so I raised that up. So it... Last I checked, it's high enough for the train to go underneath, unless there's something special about it. Also, it came with, like, uh, a windshield that had, like, a sticker. I did not apply that sticker. I bought this set new. But I took this as the map. I don't know. It takes up less room. Uh, it already I already put that sticker on. I don't know what it came with, like an extra or something. It came with something. And I liked the sticker enough because it was a new map that we haven't gotten a print form. So, And then uh, I took the, wo the window off of the... There was a window above the ticket machine. And I don't know if it was supposed to be a screen, but it was transparent. I thought it, it was pointless, so I took it off. Um... I added a garbage can, and then I completely expanded this building. This building was only four wide. Four wide by basically, what would this be? Four, eight, twenty-six, twenty-eight by four. So it's a very skinny building. Um... And I was like, well, and they didn't have a back or anything. So what I did was I had bought a Philly. I bought a lot from Uncle Cheap Ass. And it had these windows from a Junior's uh, fire station. And I, I loved them. I'm like, these are so nice. They look, the print is so nice. So I, I got three of them in that lot that I had bought from him. And you can see it's kind of above the ground here raised up so I'll show you the how many mills this took um, so three of these and I think it looks really nice and then the roof is modular now so that you can actually play in there there's a I put a coffee machine table full of coffee cups and those that's came standard in the set I think they're supposed to be like drinks or something I just thought that was funny that they put a bunch of translucent cone transparent cone and then I found this vintage piece which is like a uh, CB or like a uh, microphone so I put that next to the computer for you know that's how he like uh, makes announcements like train or coming or whatever out of this and then I put some weird stuff in there. So I put in some shelving. And then I put in a little thing with, uh, it's got like a canister of something green. And it really has nothing to do with trains or whatever, but it's just for fun. So there's something maybe sinister going on at this station. We don't know. Who knows what it is, but why do they have that? I think it looks cool. I think it adds mystery, whatever. So, there you get a top-down look. And we can put this back on here like so. It it goes on really nice. I put some... Just kidding. Maybe it doesn't. And then, so, here we go. And so, it looks really nice from the top. And... I like how it turned out. So, I just wanted to show... Oh, I was going to show you the mills plate. So, because of the tr a lot of my tracks, the straight tracks, are on 16, 16 by 32 base plates. So, in order to have this work and still line up with the other tracks appropriately, I had to do something kind of weird. So, the track for this specific station 
I had to build the station and track into three 16 by 32 base plates. That way, uh, so it's technically the, the pedestrian walk and the, the, the stand platform are built onto the mills, this mills plate. So it's technically one and a half base plates for the entire structure and tracks. So, but then on this side, this is, you know, you can take this off, it's its own module, and then you can put another module there, whether it be a turn or a straight, whatever. So, but I had to do that to make it work within the system that I'm I'm making for my, for my city. So, I hope you uh, liked seeing the pedestrian bridge. Uh, a lot of it, uh, a lot of this is standard for the side, the pedestrian bridge itself. So that, I think it's pretty much standard, except for that I raised it up. The building, the front is like it is. It has a sliding glass door. Oops, I knocked off my flowers. And then it had a clock and it had this and whatever. I did not put the decal there with the transportation logo. But I made this shop bigger. Um, and I kind of should have put a, maybe a skylight there, but I... I just wanted it to be done, and so that's the finished product, and I really like it. So when this lines up, the stair will go down to, not this, but the mills plate that will go next to it, so you can take any building, which I'll do in the next segment. Bye, 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 bye.